an idea. He was like, what's under this? I was like, you'll see. <laughs> winky, winky. Yeah. And at the end of the car, the beginning of the actual carpet where most people see me, I took it off mm-hmm. on camera. And so that was the other, the show was revealing it and spinning around. So the first was, oh my gosh, everybody right. said that because it said Make America Great Again. And he had just been elected, right? right. January. And so this was February. Then I turn around and it says Trump, and you get another huge <gasps> from the crowd. And they actually loved it. The photographers were like, yes, vacation money, right? Yeah. <laughs> they knew they had a big, you know, uh, picture. And when genius, I got off, oh, genius thank you. move, darling. Thank you genius so much. Move. Thank you. <laughs> I right. was just. Did, did you, you think know, it would be received up. as amazing as I No, uh, I thought, I was actually afraid they were going to ignore me. I was like, the, the CNN headlines, how they hate the president so much, and mm-hmm. Madonna, how she said, I want to blow up the White House. I was like, I'm going to be attacked. You know, I'm like, I'm hoping security is looking out for me. That's why I covered it. And it wasn't until I walked through and my publicist was with me and he's like, oh my gosh, Joy, you're trending everywhere. You're trending everywhere. He was like Googling me mm-hmm. and all these articles are coming in. And then I'm hearing ding, 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 ding. I'm going, what is going on with my phone? I open it up and my website in PayPal sends me a notification every time I sell merchandise on mm-hmm. joyzilla.com. I was selling out my album, my t-shirts, everything Whoa. on my website like crazy. And then I, I saw it was Joy Villa is now number 12. Joy Villa just surpassed Drake at number six on iTunes. And then 24 hours later, I think it was maybe 72 hours later, I was number one on all the charts. Please tell me you didn't plan this as a launch. Please tell no, me this was not a manager's that, strategy. No, that was 100% my idea. And this, mean, this was an old was, album, too. And the designer was also Trump supporter. Mm-hmm. And so it was just me talking, airing my grievances, going, man. And this album, by the way, was a three-year-old mm-hmm. album. So it was like, I wish I could have I had that. I was in one of the videos. That's how thrilled yes, it was. Yes, that's how long it ago yeah. was. I wish I would have had the, the planning of it. Because, you know, mm-hmm. later I released a song called Make America Great Again, and, which was just a unifying message for all Americans, you know. Mm-hmm. Thank and, you. Yeah, all Americans. Straight, gay, trans, uh, cis, whatever we, we're called these days. Um, you know, any kind of people. Tall, short, fat, slim, artists, non-artists. Um, just, you know, crazy foot fetish people. I don't care what you believe in. <laughs> you know, but you have a right to, to do you and to be you, and that's what makes this country so great. Well, when I was, when I was on your show, I told you, and I, do, I, I definitely believe this because you're dress designer Andre Soriano, immigrant, mm-hmm. flamboyantly gay, gay <laughs> yeah. is on Fox News wearing a dress <laughs> oh my and makeup, and, and oh, because yeah. he had designed the dress. Yeah. Nobody said anything about it. Filipino, Everybody, yeah. yeah. You, I mean, a that Filipino was the immigrant, mm-hmm. flamboyantly yeah. gay, right. on Fox News. They love them. Oh, they totally. love Joy. Oh, and I did all kinds of Fox News. I did all kinds of news. CNN still won't have me on. I think they're afraid of me. <laughs> but you know, I I was like, I think they got other, I think they got worse things to worry about now. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. But it was just an incredible experience, and really, I wanted to do it because this is what my heart said to do. And I'm a little bit like, I'm punk rock. I'm like, F you. You hate this president so much? Well, I do. I don't. I voted for him. Mm -hmm. I support what he stands for. And I'm going to do it in my way. You're beautiful, by the way. Thank Thank you for doing that. And then, and then, and then this last Grammy, (laughs) you really put your heart on the sleeve because you designed your own dress. Now, yes. I, why didn't Andre, why wasn't Andre involved in this one? Um, you know, he's moved on to do other projects. Okay. So it's not always, you know, we're so available. There's no I've worked, no, I just work, I've worked with a lot of different artists okay. for different designs. Right. And um, this year, I said I really wanted to design my own gown because I had the mm. image in my head. I said, I know what I want, and I've always co-designed every gown, mm-hmm. you know, everything I do. I'm an artist through and through. Started in theater, you know, and this year, I'm pro-life. So I had found myself... You've always been pro-life. I've always been pro-life. Okay. No, yeah, I, I, I've been yeah, pro-life. Don't, I, I don't want this year I'm pro-life. They're one like, what? The, yeah. No, I've always been pro-life. But this year, yeah, 2018, I decided to showcase that at the Grammys mm-hmm. because at 19 years old, I found myself with, in, with an unwanted pregnancy in right. an abusive relationship. And the nurse was like, go to Planned Parenthood, get an abortion, get an abortion, get an abortion. I was like, wait, I don't want an abortion. That's not the right thing for me right now. I don't want this. I don't want to destroy this child's life. Just because I, you know, have found myself, you know, a condom broke. It was horrible. But what happened is... That never happens to me. It, it, you know, it's funny because they're only 97% accurate. So anyways, well, uh, not to scare I'm not putting a lot of pressure on it. So anyway. How do you know it doesn't no, happen? No, no, no. I, 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 I didn't tell you. Just kidding. Yeah, I, 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 you got I, I, some I, I, kids out there. I got to throw a, a, a 
bad dick joke in the pro line. Go ahead. <laughs> so um, I decided to choose adoption. Right. And so my child was adopted to a loving, amazing family. And I see her today. She calls me Mama Joy. It's an open adoption. Mm -hmm. And it's the best decision I've ever made in my life. Right. So we can all live. I mean, her family loves me, loves what I do. Mm -hmm. We get to see each other. Mm -hmm. And it all worked out for the for the good. So I designed my dress with a drawing, a painting. I actually hand painted it. It's a wedding dress, and I hand painted it with the sonogram image of her. Did you sew? Did you sew? I didn't sew it, no. I had someone create the dress. It was actually Pronovius wedding gown, okay. so from Pronovius. But I don't sew. I'm not a seamstress. I should sew. My mom was really good at that, you know, fiber arts. But I can design. Like most, a lot of designers don't don't sew. They have somebody sort of create it. So I can dictate this is how it should look. These are the lines. And then an incredible artist can then put it, put the pieces together. But it, and in my purse, I painted as well, and it says, choose life. Right. And that's my message. Choose life. No matter what, you need to choose life. In this age where so many men and women are suicidal, are told they're nothing but, you know, bodies, and that they don't, they don't, they're never going to reach their dreams, and they're never going to be able to achieve anything, and you might as well just kill yourself, blah, 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 take drugs, blah. Choose life. Every life is worthy to be lived. And mm -hmm. I believe we are spirit spiritual beings and we we live again you know that's my belief is that we live forever right so you might as well keep creating and, and accept that you're here and it yeah. could be a blessing and, and like i say I, i've been friends for you for, with you forever yeah and i don't care about anybody's political views yeah. and I, I didn't know your political views and i could care less right but did you lose friends did you oh gain? yeah well when you, you when you first met me i mean i voted for obama in right. 2008 mm -hmm. so that was the first time yeah right yeah. i mean that's how we got elected we all wanted yeah. him and I was a registered, I just wrote a USA Today opinion piece article I like about this. I, like I was, that. yeah, I was a registered independent for years. Mm -hmm. um, since I could vote, I registered independent. Mm -hmm. And when I voted for Obama, I registered, still registered independent. When I voted for Trump, it was mm -hmm. time for a change. And now, for the first time, because of these midterms and because it's so important, I'm a registered Republican. I'm proud to be a Republican. I'm like, I'm a conservative. I'm a Republican. It aligns with my beliefs. But I am very tolerant, unlike the extreme left, right. the extremists were not actually tolerant. I'm but tolerant. You should make a views. distinction between left and liberal. Uh, oh well, liberals. Going. If we're going classical liberal, like you mentioned, liberals are actually incredible. They're more like libertarians. They're not. That's where the I, liberals. That's, that's, that's where I, I, I reside. Yes, left and liberals are not the same thing. Right. Like right. Dennis Prager says, right? He's like, we're calling them liberals. They're not actually liberal. Liberal philosophy well, you, you, is you, you, much more. You can more say the same thing on the other side too. Well, well, yeah. There's, I mean, there's a lot of conservatives that have, there's, there's there's nothing conservative about it. Yeah, I, I mean, mean you know, it's I, true. There's extremists on both sides. I think that it's like a circle. If you're extreme, you're going to end up in the same part of that circle, no matter. You see, on the right, playing. you have something called uh, when does the right go too far? When does the left go too far? And we know when the right goes too far. When well, yeah. Superiority doctrine. But when, when does the left go too far? Superiority. <laughs> it's actually more like. Um, not superiority of a minority it's funny i think it's two sides of the same coin it's i'm a victim so therefore i'm better than you right victim politics it's victim right. politics so which is the same as which a superiority it's oppressor versus oppressed. absolutely it's just a different dog same fleece and when, you when got it i was listening to dr jordan e peterson about mm -hmm. this because I, because the trans community attacked him for not oh, respecting okay. all these all these pronouns, uh, these crazy yeah. pronouns that went a little <laughs> nuts. Yeah, come okay, on. The, 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 the transgender oh, yeah. community went a little too far, yeah. and a lot of us are just like scratching our head, and they're mm. screaming. They're so fragile; they have mm -hmm. no clue how hard it was for us to get here to this place right. where right. we have insurance. Right. And I worked on this in the past. Well, mm. I know, I know you did, and that's that's what, where we're going to talk about it. Yeah, because and as, uh, it, I have this crazy um, opinion because. I disagree with probably, I would say, 99% of my Facebook board, which mm -hmm. are Democrats and Republicans in that. Mm -hmm. I think Trump's done some good things. I think he's done some bad things. Done some things I agree with, mm -hmm. some things I don't. Mm -hmm. I think I think we should renegotiate tariffs and, and, and the NAFTA and, and other things. Mm -hmm. I, I, I actually like the way that he handled uh, the, except for Puerto Rico, which I thought was horrendous. Mm -hmm. I think the ones in the continental United States, I think the disasters he handled ter terrifically. The trans thing, I'm not, in, I'm not into. Well, and I, this, this, I and this just happened. Wait, what trans thing? That just I'll, 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 I'll tell you. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll give you a background. Um, yeah. There's been an in intercepted, of course, the, the, mm. the, the New York Times you know, um, mm -hmm. blew this open about, mm. tra about Trump wanting to 
mandate us out of existence. And I think it's overblown.